So, here's my bottle brush, and it's just gone to dusk. And it's full of <clears throat> rainbow lorikeets through the day. And a beautiful batty friends at night. So that's, that's a grey-headed flying fox in there at the moment. Enjoying the blossom, which is lovely to see. I don't know how much of it you can see, but I'll be able to see the bats in the background flying over as well. So this one's been um, yelling at any other bats who decide they'd like to come in and feed. <clears throat> There's not much light left, but um, I'm hoping you can see something anyway. So lorikeets do the day shift and flying foxes do the night shift and this is why they're so terribly important. They're in, in the news a lot lately. Um, you can see the bats in the sky flying over. <clears throat> um, because little reds have hit town up in uh, Man Eyes and places like that and the, there's usual calls to cull them but people really don't understand why they're so important. and what they actually do in the environment and why there appear to be so many bats and that is because they congregate in large colonies but it doesn't mean that the, the entire population is in a healthy state. Anyway it's nice to um, have planted some trees that our birds and bats can enjoy. I get a real buzz out of that, I think that's lovely. And just how much life one small tree can support is just amazing. Anyway, we're just about out of light now, so I think we'll let this one enjoys blossom.